Hey, digital navigators and gaming aficionados. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that set the gaming community abuzz Blizzard's new user agreement. The recent update has sparked a massive debate on digital ownership, the future of gaming, and what it means to own a game in 2024. So grab your digital or physical popcorn because this is a discussion you won't want to miss. Blizzard's bold move licensing over ownership. Marcus Persson brought to light a significant change in Blizzard's approach to game distribution. According to their latest user agreement update, when you purchase a game from Blizzard, you're no longer buying the game itself. Instead, you're acquiring a license to use the game. Yes, you heard that right. The ownership stays with Blizzard and they're making it crystal clear. Your use of the platform is licensed, not sold to you. And you hereby acknowledge that no title or ownership with respect to the platform or the games is being transferred or assigned. What does this mean for gamers? This shift raises some important questions about the future of game ownership. In the era of digital downloads, the notion of owning a game has been gradually evolving. However, Blizzard's new policy puts a finer point on the issue. You're not buying a game, you're renting it indefinitely. And with the added clause that Blizzard can revoke your license to play these games at any time for breaking their rules or any other, in their eyes, arbitrary reason, it's a stark reminder of the power imbalance between consumers and game publishers. The implications of digital licenses. Let's talk about what this means in the grander scheme. First, the immediate appeal of digital purchases, convenience, instant access, and the elimination of physical clutter is undeniable. Yet, this convenience comes at a cost, the erosion of consumer rights and ownership. With Blizzard's new agreement, the control over how and when you can access your games lies entirely in their hands. This not only affects how we consume games, but also impacts our rights as consumers. A wake-up call for physical media advocates. For those who've championed the cause of physical media, Blizzard's updated user agreement is a potent reminder of the value of tangible ownership. Physical copies of games grant a level of permanence and control that digital licenses simply can't match. While the industry continues its march towards an all-digital future, incidents like these underscore the importance of maintaining a physical collection for those who value ownership and longevity in their gaming library. What can gamers do? In the face of such policies, what are your options as a gamer? Voting with your wallet is a powerful statement. Supporting platforms and publishers that respect ownership rights can influence the industry's direction. Additionally, staying informed and engaged with consumer rights organizations that advocate for digital ownership can help push for more equitable policies in the digital marketplace. Wrapping up, the future of game ownership. Blizzard's new user agreement marks a significant moment in the ongoing conversation about digital ownership. As we navigate this increasingly digital landscape, it's crucial for gamers, developers, and publishers alike to engage in open dialogue about the value of digital goods and the rights of consumers. The future of gaming is not just about technology and entertainment, it's also about fairness, transparency, and respect for the individuals who fuel this billion-dollar industry. What are your thoughts on Blizzard's new policy? Do you see this as a troubling trend, or is it just the reality of our digital age? Drop your thoughts and opinions down below and let's keep the conversation going. And remember, in the world of gaming, knowledge is as powerful as the mightiest hero. Keep informed, keep questioning, and never stop gaming. See you in the next video.